Hi everybody, this is Ages, and today I'm going to go over the Festival of the Four Winds that began two days ago, on July 18th. The Festival of the Four Winds has begun. Everybody is welcome to join the event. This yearly festival is in two locations, Labyrinth Cliff and the Crump Pavilion. These locations will be available until August 8th. Both Labyrinth of the Cliff and Crown Pavilion are accessible to players of any level. Even if you're brand new to the game, you can easily take part in the, all activities. Read on for a quick rundown of activities you can participate in during the festival and the rewards you can earn. There's a nice little picture. I'm guessing that's some of the rewards we can earn. Uh, the Labyrinth of the Cliff can be accessed through Lion's Arch and Crown Pavilion. Uh, be accessed through Divinity's Reach. Check your in-game mail for an invitation of the festival, uh, the Four Winds, and double-click the item to be teleported instantly to the desired location. When you enter the Labyrinth of Cliff, you will arrive in a whole new area. This is an explorable zone. It is located in Terria Coast, a beautiful map that you can explore. You can navigate this map using various aspect crystal crystals, wind, sun, and lightning. There are activities all over the map, so keep your eyes peeled. Experience the thrill of finding treasure with fellow players by participating in treasure hunts, melee events, or trying your hand, uh, trying your hand at one of the races. The Skimmer Saloon, I can't pronounce that, and the Flying Doliac Adventures will offer you f the fun you need on this beachy location. There are also sky crystals all over the map that you can find to complete achievements. If if you decide to head to Crown Pavilion, you will discover many other activities. Join other players in defeating the greatest enemies of Krata in a, blitz, a boss blitz event. But worry not, these aren't real beings. They are merely Queen Jenna's watch, watchwork knight soldiers. Face off against the strongest individuals of Terria. Uh, talk to one of the fighting managers to join the queue and you'll be transported to a one vs one arena. The, queen, the Queen's Gauntlet. Cheer on your friends to show off your skills to the world. Another nice little uh, clip here. Like I said, I'm guessing these are the weapons that you can probably earn the skins. So let's look at the rewards. Uh, make sure to participate in as many activities as you can to earn festival tokens. Trade them to the festival reward vendor located in Crown's Pavilion and Labyrinth Cliffs to obtain special goods like heavy crafted bags, equipment bags, armor skins, miniatures, exotic weapons and more. Complete the annual Four Winds custom melee event to earn Krater uh, headband. To earn uh, the Krater headband. You can find the festival achievements in your achievement panel under festivals. Uh, check out the full release notes on the Gilbo's form. So I just want to say thank you for watching this little update of the Festival of the Four Wednesday event. And I hope you have lots of fun doing it.